money, intellect, and self-esteem. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self-Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, this particular topic came into being. It was actually a post that was sent to me by my cousin, Miss Diamond, uh, Diamond. <laughs> okay, Nikita, I know you're going to hear this, but Nikita Diamond White. The Diamond is, is her, her marketing name. Uh, but anyway, shout out to you, cousin. But she tagged me in the post. And I actually covered this topic in the post itself on Thursday's edition. You guys are watching Mondays, so that's going to be the next edition, which is Thursday. It's called Money, Intellect, and Relationships. This one we're calling Money, Intellect, and Self-Esteem. And the reason I figured that was the topic I should cover today is because the things that were talked about in that are things that will affect a person's self-esteem, and I figured we need to address that up front. Because as you guys know, I'm like, we get our self-esteem, the way we feel about that person in the mirror, all that other stuff, it'll take care of itself. So, what we have a tendency to do, and what I was getting even from that is, the article is, too many people link up having money equals intelligence, and they're not the same. First, I guess we have to de de decide what is intellect and who gets to decide what intellect is. Are we saying education is how we're defining intellect? Because statistics show, last I, I read, 70% of people that go to college and get a degree aren't working in the field that they went to school for. So does that equal intellect or does that equal more education? See, what happens is people get educated in a field. That's what schooling does for you. It gives you more education in a particular topic but the world wants to classify it as you being intelligent. And again, the reason I'm having this conversation for those of you who may not have the degree, that you don't allow that to make you look in the person in the mirror and feel shame or to feel uh, you're not worthy, you're not valuable. Because there are majority of millionaires today don't have degrees. So does that mean they're not educated? Does that mean they're not intellect, intellectual? <laughs> you know, again, who's defining this? Because what the article was pretty much getting to was women uh, have a hard time attracting guys that are financially well off and intellectual to, at their level. And I'm like, they ain't got nothing to do with each other. Just because she's well off financially doesn't make her intelligent. Again, depending on how we're defining intellect, it just may mean she's good at a particular field. There, there are sports athletes that are getting $150, $200 million in, 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 in contracts now. How are we defining intellect? Did they get there because of education? Or did they get there because of their athleticism? Having intellect, does that mean you have character and integrity? No, they ain't got nothing to do with each other. My point that I was getting to, and I talked about in, in the other video, is there are a lot of people, depending on your definition again of intellect, that are very intellectual and don't have money. There's a lot of people that have money and don't have any intellect. Again, depend on your definition. So my point in this conversation is for you, if you don't have the money, for you not to think it's because you're not intelligent, as some people want to put it out to be, 
It just means you haven't gone into a field that pays well and became well versed in that particular field, which you can do. Because, but it starts with looking in the mirror and understand your worth, your value, and that you deserve to have those things and then go make it happen. Find something that you can get excited about because, again, most millionaires today don't have degrees if that's how we're defining intellect. Doesn't mean a person has money, can hold a good conversation, again, or as we're calling it, an intellectual conversation. Doesn't mean that. Too many people are buying into money to equal all the positives in life. There are people that have nothing, very intelligent, and are having the, the happiest lives. Uh, Tony Robbins talks about that. He says um, he has an island actually in the, um, what is it? Oh, man, it'll come to me. But anyway, he says over there in Fiji, and he says, it's, it amazed him when he first got there because here it is people that don't have anything, but they're the happiest people. And he said, people go and earn all this money. And because he, he was talking to some of the people in the village, they were like, people go, they earn all this money. They saving, they're hustling, they're doing everything so that they could come visit Fiji. And he said, and we live here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of just put things in perspective. It's like, yeah, because the world keeps teaching us, trying to program us into believing the happiness, the money, the, the, the intellect, all that stuff is way out there somewhere that we're searching. Matter of fact, at the same time, Tony said he did uh, interview like 50 billionaires and majority of them are not happy. Money, intellect, self-esteem, the way you feel about yourself, they're not, they don't all necessarily go together. Not saying they can't, but we can't make that blanket statement because we start to make people who don't have it start to believe they lack intelligence or education and it destroys people's self-esteem. And you guys know for me, that's what everything that I'm talking about on Self Love Monday is loving that person in the mirror. And when you're in the relationship, and again, you guys will hear me talk more about that on the, um, Thursday's edition. I'm trying not to talk about Thursday's edition today, so it's making it tough because I want to go into it. But uh, again, the, 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 the purpose of this is do the stuff we've been talking about. Look in the mirror. Have a conversation with yourself every day. Fall in love with that person. Find out something you can get excited about and go earn the income and do don't ever question your intellect don't ever in question your education because all that stuff can go be you can go acquire all that stuff that stuff that people are trying to to make it sound like it's a gifted few it's it's not real i had a friend matter of fact uh in, in the finance service field with me when i was doing that and we were getting ready she had to go take her life exam and she was telling me, I'm not going to pass the exam, she said, because I didn't do well in school. And I said, uh, what they got to do with anything? I said, you didn't do what the professors told you to do in school. That's why you do well in school. It's not because there's anything wrong with you. You just didn't do what you were told to do. I said, but here's what's going to happen. We're going to study for this test. And you're going to be prepared. And you're going to pass it your first time. What does she do? She passed it her first time. Folks, don't let people tell you or start to make you question yourself because they look at your financial situation and try to make you believe, obviously because you're not intelligent, obviously because you're not educated. No, just like with her. You just hadn't, first off, looked in the mirror and had the belief in yourself to go say, I'm gonna go make it happen and acquire the money. And, and that education comes again in many different forms. It's not at a school 
where you're going to necessarily acquire your education. Now, if you want to be a doctor, you have to go through the schooling to get the education. And that makes you, that doesn't necessarily make you intellect as far as conversation. It just gives you education in the medical field. See where I'm saying the difference? We want to make it sound like the economics and the intellect are the same. And they're not. They're not. Um, again, I, 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 I know you guys get my point. I want you to know to, to love that person that you see in the mirror. Go out and, and, and decide what it is that you want. Go acquire the money. Get the education. Well, go get the education. <laughs> then go, acquire, go acquire the money. Um, but again, don't let anybody make you believe that that money defines you. And that's really what I'm getting to. Because in this conversation that they were talking about in the article is pretty much saying how women have a hard time finding the guy that's on the same level as her because the guy is not necessarily looking for a woman on the same level. And that part is true. And again, I'm trying not to go into what I'm going to talk about on Thursday, but uh, the reality is most guys are looking for, if they have money, they're they're just looking for someone to have as a trophy. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll go into more on that on Thursday. But that's kind of what they're looking for. And that's why women that maybe are financially independent have a hard time attracting the guy. And again, and that's why I'm having this conversation because he kind of linked it up. Well, that's why she'll have a hard time finding a guy who's at the same economic and um, intellectual and they're not the same. They're not the same. Um, so anyway, I know you guys get it. Uh, as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It's my opinion. I just, again, my, my, my whole key here is please, whatever you do, do not link up money and let money define who you see in the mirror. And that's again, why this self love of Monday is all about learning to love you so that you can have enough confidence in yourself to go get, acquire the education. And again, it doesn't have to be at a school. It's the education in whatever direction or field that you want to go in, that you want to become an expert in. Find someone who's doing it, get the knowledge from them, pick their brains, find out what they're doing, duplicate, and go acquire the money so that you can go do the things that you want in your life and, and achieve the things that you want out of your life. And... Um, but again, that's the whole whole idea behind this conversation. Don't define yourself by the money. Don't define your relationships by the money. If you guys need money in your relationship, put the talents together and let's go earn it. But again, as I said before, look for the inside stuff when you're looking for, for a partner, just as for you. Build the inside first and then we can go acquire the outside together as a couple or for yourself, you can go acquire the personal things that you want after you take care of the inside. So again, as you guys know, it ain't right, ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, make sure you come back and listen on Thursday. Thursday, I will go specifically into the uh, the uh, post and I break it down. I took each paragraph and kind of covered my perspective on it. And I think a lot of it is the challenges that we're having in relationships because people are sending out these, these bad um, information, I should say, or, or perspectives. Because again, they're just my perspectives. I just look at and believe that they're part of the problem that we're having in our society when it comes to relationships. So, but anyway, um, as you guys know, if, if we talk on, if I talk to you on Relationship Thursday, I'm going to see you Thursday. Hopefully, after you watch this, that you'll actually want to go Thursday and hear what I'm talking about there into more detail. And then for those of you on Self Love Monday, I look forward to talking to you again next Monday. And make sure you get over to my website, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Um, that has everything that I'm up to, everything, all my programs. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And I'll talk to you guys uh, soon. Take care and enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.